Hi guys, welcome back to the reading channel. Today we are reading Home oh, Freeze Pen Show Panic. Today we are reading chapter 3. Here come the judges. Last time we read chapter 2 and chapter 1. So if you haven't seen those, you can go check this out after this video if you have time. So, so now let's get reading. First, the judges stopped at Og's tank. Show them what a great frog you are, Og. I told my friend do your very best. Uh, everyone stared at Og. Uh, looked at the judges, but he didn't do anything else. Boy, for that monkey, I squeaked. But, but Og didn't point. He didn't even splash. He just stared at the judges. Stared back. Come on, Og! Whispered to say. Show them what a good swimmer you are. Og kept on staring. What did I see? I looked at, at the crowd. I saw people, dogs, cats, dragons, birds, and other strange creatures. Maybe I was scared. Don't be afraid, dog, I said. Act friendly. Say hello. Boy, said at last. Storm seems to look surprised. What was that? He asked. That's how he talks, God explained. Boing, boing, all jumped up and down. George just leaned in and looked more interested. Then crackers opened her beak and started squawking again. Crackers is the first! She said. Then Ox talked. He didn't make another sound. At least he tried a little. The judges moved on to my cage. Now it was all up to me. Who's this? Stormy Sage asked. Humphrey, it just said. He is a golden hamster. It's true. I was ready to put on a great show. First, I reached to, to, up to the side of my cage. Looked straight at the judges and squeaked. Hello! He's a funny little fellow, Stormy said. Next, I hopped onto my wheel and did a little fast spin. Look at him go, Dr. Jones. I climbed back onto the top of my cage and climbed a high spot. Just one paw holding, I swung back and forth. Sometimes I miss my so, goodness, Judge Wong said. Next, I slid down, 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 and dropped back onto the wheel. This time, I spun backwards. This curse were witting, but I kept on spinning. Judges made notes. Great job, Judge Wong said. I was very proud. Then she noticed the box next to me. What's in there? She asked. Uh, that's Nick, she said. I'll make him move. The judges came closer and asked. Richie poked around inside the box. Stopped spinning so I could watch. Hmm, even Judge Wong looked surprised. I thought it was a stick until it moved, he said. I thought it was a stick move, too. But a stick doesn't move all by itself, does it? It's a stick inside, Judge explained. That's why I call him Nick. Nick the Stick. People crowded around to see Nick. The stick is an insect they squeaked on. Boing, boing, off point Riley. He's, he was probably excited because he likes insects. He likes them for dinner and breakfast too. Yuck. Boing, boing, boing. Boing, 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 boing. boing. Oh, repeated. People in the crowd laughed. Off has a pretty loud voice, AJ says. Because he still hoped that Off could win the prize. So did I, but I wasn't sure she was louder than the screeching parrot. Squawk! Next, Carl asked the owners to bring pets with special tricks to the center of the room. Smokey, the small dog, rolled over and sat up in bed. Cha Cha, the tiny dog, stood on her legs and did a hula dance. At least that's what the owner called it. Oscar the hot dog pup sang. It was more of a whale than a sing. Then we tried to drown him out by saying, La 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 la. It was noisy, noisy, noisy. But it was still wondering about Nick. He didn't look like uh, any kind of insect I have seen. And what kind of stick can move by itself? Luckily, I have a secret lock that doesn't lock. Allows me to get in and out of my kitchen without the kids knowing. So, while everyone watched tricks, I jiggled the lock. 
as the door swung open, I saw my aunt lead climb into the side part of the room. I didn't think Clem was clever enough to do a trick, but he, it turned out he could chase his own tail. It was just glad he wasn't chasing me. When all eyes were on Clem, tipped out over to Nick's box. I couldn't see over the top, but there were, big, there were air holes in the side of the box. I got up to, I got up to with my tippy toes and peeked inside. What a strange sight. Nick still looked like a stick. But now I saw that the stick had eyes. And it had twiggly legs that moved. Eat that sweet. I'm sure no one hurt me because the crowd was so noisy. I looked up and saw that the people were cheering for a cat. I never heard of a cat doing tricks. Nature told me that. Me neither, Gunther. But this cat did a great trick. So I had a big poop. And the cat will be right through. And that's the end of chapter 3. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And don't forget about to see chapter 2 and 1. Bye bye.